one of the medical cornerstones in southwest Volusia since he's been here. Now, he's the epitome of a good doctor. His patients would proudly say I'm patient of Dr. Ma Mathur, saying that they felt like it was badge of honor. He gives every patient the, the element of respect and time that he deems necessary to draw an appropriate conclusion. So he was a tremendous help, not only my practice, but I think to the entire medical community. Just a tremendous asset that we've had and a partner for the hospital. One thing he does that epitomizes his character is that we go on the once a month to Oak Park Assisted Living. So he sees his patients in their environment. My husband was uh, diagnosed with a terminal illness. Dr. Mather was with me the whole time. On the very last day, he was in my home. Dr. Mathers helped me to understand that you have to treat the whole person. So we have, we have a good relationship. If he would just talk louder. There's nothing that rattles his cage, nothing. He's a gentleman and uh, very soft-spoken. He's very inviting and the way he does it, uh, I don't think he thinks about it. I don't think he thinks that he's being humorous. It just, you know, uh, happens. Uh, it's pretty much every time I come here, he makes me laugh. Incredibly funny when you get to know him. That was probably one of the things that surprised me the most was just his kind of quiet sense of humor. He laughs at my corny jokes and I laugh at his. And that's how we get along. <laughs> we have a good time when we have our breakfast meetings. I mean, he mentors me not only on affairs that regards the business of healthcare, but also we talk outside of, uh, we actually on Thursday, we typically would have lunch at Olive Garden and now uh, he give me tips on stocks and all that kind of good stuff. He and his wife both have been just such a great part of our community. He is really a yin to my yang. <laughs> we first met in medical school uh, playing ping pong. He just loved me so much that he will play with the left hand. He was called King Kong of ping pong. <laughs> I'll lose and he'll still bring Cadbury chocolate for me. He had to start his career a lot earlier than me. But when it came to my turn, he assumed Mr. Mom position and he did that role beautifully. He took care of children. They adore him for what he did for them. I think it was 1989 that when I got my citizenship, I went to the courthouse and the lady looks at me and she said, oh, you are Dr. Mather. So I was a little surprised that why did she ask me that? but they were getting constant calls from some of my patients that we are throwing a party for Dr. Mather and you please make sure that he is sworn in as a citizen. So that's how the clerk knew me. My patients at John Knox Village threw a wonderful party for me after I was given citizenship. So Dr. Mather, congratulations for reaching this milestone. It's been my true pleasure and honor to get to know you over these past four years, and I'm so impressed by your leadership and what you've meant to the community and especially to this hospital, so thank you. The utmost congratulations. Pradeep, thank you and for all that you did, and congratulations. Pradeep, you're an amazing guy. Uh, it's been fun uh, practicing healthcare in the community with you. I wish him all the best. I wish him a wonderful semi-retirement and a lot of time with his family. Congratulations on a good career, happy retirement. Congratulations on your retirement. I know you and your wife will have a lot of great times together and we, we look forward to seeing you uh, anytime we can. I admire him for what he is. I love him. He has been very supportive husband, very loving, and has helped me a lot in my life. I like to spend some time with my grandkids, play more golf, and take some culinary lessons. I like to be a pastry chef. <laughs>